Growing up, my favorite cartoon channel to watch as a kid was Cartoon Network. They were the perfect channel to watch in the early 2010s, especially for a young 8 year old who played way too much Minecraft and ate grass outside. I remember coming home from school every day and turning on Cartoon Network and being glued to the TV for hours. Now I would occasionally watch Nickelodeon growing up, but honestly Nickelodeon just wasn't really for me. The only show I watched on Nickelodeon was Spongebob and that's really it. And I guess Fanboy and Chum Chum, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> Now some of the shows I would watch over and over again on Cartoon Network were shows like Adventure Time, Gumball, and Clarence, which was an amazing show and you all mistreated it severely. But one of my personal favorite shows on the network that I would watch over and over again, and one of my personal favorite cartoons of all time, has to be Regular Show. Before I review the show, and talk about why I love it so much, I first want to give a brief history of Regular Show, and how it came to be. Regular Show was created by J.G. Quintel. He created the show based on two short films he made while studying animation at CalArts. Two in the AMPM and The Naive Man from Lollipop Land. The first film was about two lads working at a petrol station on Halloween, then taking acid and turning into the characters Mordecai and Benson. Weird short, I know. This short film would directly inspire the idea for Regular Show and the characters of Mordecai and Benson. Except, the short was aimed for more adults with swearing and toxic drugs. Oh, oh no wait! <laughs> no, no, I remember now. Don't worry dude, I didn't put any weed in this candy. It was acid. <laughs> what? Acid? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm, I'm sorry. The second short film mainly inspired the character of Pops. In the short, he has the same voice and design, and the trait of paying people with lollipops instead of paying them with money. Let's see here, I think... 25% tip. Yes, jolly good show. Jolly good show does a jolly good tip, I always say. These two short films will mark the beginning for a regular show. After graduating from CalArts, Quintel was hired by Cartoon Network Studios and worked on The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack as a storyboard artist and a writer. Now, there are many different ideas for a regular show. One idea was about a bunch of animals looking after a zoo where humans are all the main attraction. I don't even want to know how that version of regular show was going to play out, since it sounds weird as fuck. Another idea was where Mordecai and Benson would be the main characters. Mordecai would be the slacker, and Benson would be the responsible one. But that idea has been done countless times in the past. So after some idea changes and story revisions, the show aired in April 2009, and it was praised upon release. Regular show marked a new era for Cartoon Network, after Network was at its lowest point, doing all the see and real stuff. But I won't go into all that now. Regular Show also aired alongside other fantastic shows, like Adventure Time and The Amazing World of Gumball. Now with the history out of the way, let's get into what the show is about and why it is so beloved. So Regular Show is about two slackers named Mordecai, voiced by the creator of the show J.G. Quintel, and Rigby, voiced by William Slayers. They both work as park rangers and usually slack off, but then they get up to some wacky adventures and cause a bit of destruction here and there. And when I say a bit of destruction, I mean a lot of destruction. Their boss, Benson, who is a gumball machine, don't question it, always gets pissed off at Mordecai and Rigby for their laziness and just wants them to get to work. There are plenty of other characters in the show as well, like their co-manager Pops, who is a man-child and has a big-ass forehead, bigger than my boy Megamind over here. There's Skips, a yeti who is immortal, very strong, and works for the park with Mordecai and Rigby. By the way, Skips is actually voiced by Mark Hamill, which is pretty swag, I'm not gonna lie. And then there's one of my personal favorite characters in the whole show, Muscle Man, 
voiced by Sam Marin, the same guy who voices Pops and Benson. He's some green motherfucker who just literally makes mom jokes the whole time and screams. Who doesn't love mom jokes, am I right? I wish I had a mother's joke about. There are other side characters in the show, like High Five Ghost, who was actually voiced by Jeff Ben in the first season of the show, but was later replaced by the creator JG Quintel, for reasons that remain unknown. He doesn't have much to do in the show, he usually just chills in the background and occasionally says something, but he's mainly known for being best friends with Muscle Man. He's still a cool character though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he's literally a ghost. Then there's this motherfucker named Thomas, who is introduced later on in the series. He starts off as a punching bag for other characters, but he is later revealed to be a fucking Russian spy. Like, bruh, talk about character development. Then there's Margaret and Eileen, who start off as love interests for Mordecai and Rigby. And I know, there's a lot of discussion about the love interest in the show, but I'll get more into that later on. Now, what made regular shows stand out amongst other animated series at the time? Well, first of all, the humor in the show is truly amazing. The jokes here are not really geared towards kids, but also adults. There are so many adult jokes here that completely went over my head when I was a kid. And these jokes do not hold back. I was left dying of laughter with the humor here. And the way the characters bounce off each other is amazing. Mordecai and Rigby's friendship feels real here. It doesn't feel like a fake phony friendship like other kids shows at the time. Mordecai and Rigby both annoy each other and piss each other off and on several occasions almost kill each other, but that's what friends are like. Well, most friends don't kill each other, but you know, it's a cartoon. Friends argue and fight, but still care for each other. The friendship in the show is great and one of my favorite aspects. But let's get into what people really like about this show. The average regular show episode will start off with Mordecai and Rigby vibing and minding their own business, then Benson will tell them to get to work, and five minutes later the devil has been summoned. Yeah, despite this being titled regular show, it's anything but regular. So much crazy shit happens here and it's easily the best part of the entire show. Like one minute they chill in, then the next they're finding these weird space baby aliens. It's incredibly weird and strange, but that's why so many people love this show. It ain't a regular show, it's an epic show. God, that was a fucking terrible joke, I'm so sorry guys. Now, these supernatural aspects are really good, but the more chill and relaxing moments in the show are really good as well, and are some of my personal favorite moments. It's entertaining seeing the characters fight some mythical creature, but also seeing them chilling and talking to each other normally is actually really good. This show does have a lot of adventure and sci-fi elements in it, but it also has some nice slice of life elements in it, which personally I really enjoy. Also, the pop culture references and the music here is amazing. The show actually has a lot of licensed music, specifically 80s music. A show having licensed music is fairly uncommon nowadays due to royalties and all that kind of crap, but the 80s music here really fits the theme and vibe of regular show. But despite all the licensed music, the intro to this show is probably one of the shortest and kind of blandest intros ever. It's just some keyboard going <laughs> while showing the title card and credits. But regular show is too cool for an intro. JG really wanted all these 80 themes in the show because he grew up in the 80s and the decade left a positive impact on him. And like I said, there are plenty of 80 references in here that aren't just related to music. Like my boys Mordecai and Rigby play their video games on an old 80s console inspired by the Sega Master System. They are so poor they can't even play Call of Duty on an Xbox 360 and have to settle with a goddamn Sega console. And there are plenty of other old video game references here, like there's a reference to an old Atari 2600 console. Shout out to the homies who still play on Atari. And there is an entire episode dedicated to parodying the Nintendo movie from 1989 called The Wizard. The movie is kinda shit to be honest and mainly exists to promote Nintendo and their upcoming Super Mario Bros 3 game. But they did us just roast the whole film for a solid 11 minutes. Respect JG. Respect. And there are some other references here. Like they use VHSs for some reason. I don't know why they don't just use DVDs or streaming. But they got that 80s nostalgia I guess. And there are also characters in the show that are inspired by real life people, which is pretty swag in my opinion. Now with all this praise, let's talk about the animation in the show. Yeah, it's pretty good. The designs are nothing special, but they do have a nice charm to them. Personally, I think the animation was much better than the earlier seasons. It was much more fluid and had better expressions. Now, I won't say the animation looks worse in later episodes, but it can be a bit... stiff sometimes, I guess. And some of the background characters look a bit strange and kind of lazy. But like I said, the animation isn't terrible. It does have some great moments and it really stands out from the other cartoons airing around the time. But for real, there is one theme of the show that a lot of people don't like and sort of hate with the show. And that is the love plot with Mordecai. Now, I'm gonna get all this out of the way. Mordecai is a massive simp. Just look up Mordecai's simp compilation on YouTube and you'll see how cringe and desperate this motherfucker is for puss. 
Now the first woman Mordecai simps for is Margaret, the character I brought up earlier. They do slowly grow and have pretty good character relationships together, but then stuff happens between them and Mordecai ends up with a new girlfriend named CJ. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. No, not that CJ, although that would be pretty cool. I honestly really like Mordecai and CJ's relationship. It feels real and genuine, and they work really well off each other, much better than any relationship Mordecai and Margaret had. But later on in the series, Mordecai and CJ just end up becoming friends. Now, I know that a lot of people don't really like the relationship issues with Mordecai, but honestly, I kind of like them. It's handled very well, and in my opinion, it doesn't feel lazy or forced. And it can honestly get pretty intense sometimes. So let me get this straight. You're single, you dated Mordecai for a while, and you keep trying to hang out with him, even though you don't have to, because it's not like you kept in touch with him after you left. <sighs> All those things are fine. Except that you lied about it. There's only one reason you would lie about something like that. So as long as we're all just all out here telling the truth, why don't you just tell me right now? Do you still have feelings for Mordecai? I think... I do. <gasps> but I do understand why people don't like the relationship issues since it can be seen as kind of annoying sometimes, and I perfectly get that. But, can we take a minute to appreciate how great Rigby and Eileen's relationship is? Like, bruh, they are dead ass perfect for each other, they have the best chemistry in the show. You wouldn't think a motherfucker like Rigby, who sleeps on a trampoline, would get a girlfriend and be in a healthy relationship with them. So fair play, Rigby. Around the end of the series, oh, uh, by the way, spoilers, Mordecai ends up with this weird purple thing. We barely see any interaction with them, or even see them talk to each other. I can't wish the writers put more development between them, but it's not too bad. Now, with the massive success of regular show, the show ran for a total of 8 seasons, which is really good for the time. The final season, the show took the characters to space. Now, a lot of fans have mixed feelings about this season, but personally, I really like it. I love the whole space theme, and the whole idea of the characters having to fight against an evil space force. And of course, there's the ending of the show, which I'm not gonna lie, I cried when I first watched it. Again, spoilers, but Pop sacrifices himself to save all his friends, and it genuinely gets so emotional. Pops was one of the most wholesome characters in the entire show, and it honestly took a load of guts to kill him off. Also, the ending montage of the show is genuinely amazing. Seeing all the characters grow up and have their own lives with the amazing David Bowie music playing in the background is fantastic. This show definitely went out with a bang. Now, before I end this video, I would like to mention that there was a movie based on Regular Show released back in 2015, simply titled Regular Show The Movie. And yes, the film should have been called A Regular Movie, but whatever. I haven't seen the film since like 2016, but I remember it being a load of fun to watch, and I really enjoyed it. I might check out the film at some point in the future. And also, the creator, JG Quintel, has recently made a new series for HBO Max, called Close Enough. I've seen a load of episodes of this so far, and I really liked it. It's basically regular show, but for adults and with humans. It isn't really regular show, and we're probably never going to see regular show again. But hey, it's close enough. I should quit trying to be a comedian. In conclusion, Regular Show is one of my personal favorite cartoons of all time and will always hold a special place in my heart. I highly suggest checking out the series if you haven't already. It truly defined the early 2010s and also saved Cartoon Network from embarrassing themselves even further. And also, Regular Show has some funny ass memes. Like bruh, have you seen the memes spawned from Regular Show? It is dead ass amazing. Anyway, thank you all for watching and make sure to take care of yourselves. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I shall see you all in the next one. Goodbye.